Hey everybody, it's kind of a weird perspective because I'm outside, but um, I wanted to show what this micro fluke thing is about. So, in a nutshell, here's what I'm doing. I am using the number one cover shot. And I'm using either the Reaction Innovations uh, Shimmer Shot or the uh, Glitch 3.8 in the Ghost Minnow or the uh, 4K Sunfish for more of an Emerald Shiner and also the uh, X-Zone's Hot Shot Minnow in the Brim which is uh, pretty close to the same as a Shad color. And what I'm doing is literally just taking the cover shot and doing it just like you would do a normal, normal uh, fluke. Now, the thing that makes this work is that there's almost no weight to it besides the body of the bait. But it's important that you uh, put it through to where it's just hitting the back of the curve of the hook. The weight of the hook itself kind of brings it in line horizontally. Uh, believe it or not, it actually works pretty good. I was surprised at that myself when I tried it. Um, it was on a whim. I, I really didn't have any plan or uh, idea that it would work the way that it does. And other than the fact that I knew that um, with drop shot they were working really well. And also, uh, that the bait in these local ponds is primarily that uh, smaller shad profile and minnow profile. So uh, the cover shot, size one, I've gone uh, uh, one odd on a couple of occasions for the four inch and above baits. I'm sticking primarily with the uh, two and a half to 3.8. And it uh, just seems to really, really work well. They lend themselves to, like with the X zones, kind of have a little bit fatter body. Keep in mind, there's a ton of other baits out there that are just like this, but for the cost in a copper state tackle, which I recommend going to because they got pretty much anything you could use for any kind of bass fishing. And you don't have to drive all the way on the other side of town to go to the hookup, even though I love them, guys. Uh, the fatter body of the X zone lends itself to more of the, the real erratic twitch, where the flat profile of the glitch with the hook in it has more of that flat like with a, a zoom fluke but very very small and if i'm like with mine it's a handmade uh light rod uh essentially has some of the same recruitments as Daiwa and shimano has on some of their rods uh, but just the higher end versions of them from the same companies uh quick note all those companies that make rods they get their stuff from the same three or four different sources. Don't let them fool you. But it's got a, a real fast uh, light tip, but it's also somewhat parabolic, and then it has a really big backbone. What this allows me to do with the small weight, with my 10-pound braid to my 6-pound fluorocarbon, which is all Daiwa J-braid and J-fluoro, by the way. I've settled on that. I've gone away from Sunline. Uh, it's just too expensive, and I get better performance out of the, the Daiwa line. Uh, it allows me to just have monster casts, real, real long distance, and uh, also really good accuracy. I can skip really well with it too, which is why I use, typically I use, a 12 to 18 foot leader. Because the fluorocarbon allows that skip motion and then the braid follows it. So I just wanted to kind of give more of a perspective real quick. I'd been meaning to do the video for a few days, haven't had a chance. Uh, and there you go.